Well, dear children of God, good morning. Good to be with you again as we continue through this Christmas season. And if you remember, last week we actually got to talk about Epiphany, that visit of the Magi, the, the wise men. And you remember that picture there? There they are in their, their fancy uh, wardrobes, and they're bringing Jesus those gifts, gold and, and frankincense and myrrh. And if you notice in the picture here, you look really carefully, Jesus is not a newborn baby there. He's just a little bit older. And uh, that's because from Scripture, we really don't know the exact time that the wise men visited. Uh, we know it was sometime within the first couple years of Jesus' life, but it was not on Christmas, the time when he was born. It was just a little bit later. And so every year, we observe Epiphany on January 6th. That was just this past week. And we remember how God led the wise men, these foreigners from far away, to baby Jesus with that star. It's a reminder that Jesus is for all people. He's for us, too. And so Epiphany is always a special time of giving thanks that Jesus has come because God so loved the whole world, even us included today. Now, there's something interesting about the Gospels and what we know of Jesus from God's Word that after the visit of the wise men, so when Jesus was, oh, not even a couple years old yet, uh, the only other time we hear about him before his adulthood, before he's in his 30s, is when he's 12 years old as a boy and he visits the temple. And uh, maybe you remember seeing the cover of this at some point. There's the image there of Jesus as a boy in the temple at 12. Uh, the image and picture for our reading today, too, from Luke chapter 2. So Luke chapter 2 is where we hear about Jesus' birth and the shepherds and angels and Mary and Joseph, uh, Jesus in the manger. It's where we hear about uh, Simeon and Anna as they get to meet Jesus while he's a baby in the temple. And then finally we hear about him as 12 years old. And then Luke continues uh, later as Jesus is an adult and begins his ministry for us. So this is an interesting account today, one of the only stories about Jesus as a boy growing up that we hear. Uh, there are a few words in here or phrases that may be kind of unique to you or new to you. The first is the Passover feast. And the Passover feast was celebrated every year by God's people Israel to remember how he had brought them out of Egypt from being slaves there. Remember, he sent Moses to do these uh, plagues, wonderful deeds, and the last of those was the death of the firstborn. And God saved his people by telling them to paint the blood of the lamb on their door frames of their homes, and he let the angel pass over them as it took the lives of, of the other firstborn in Egypt. And we're told in the New Testament, Jesus is the Lamb of God, whose blood takes away our sin, takes away the sin of the world. So that's the Passover feast. The next little phrase here is my father's house. And Jesus is referring there to the temple, which for us today would be something like the church. We talk about our churches, our, our church buildings being God's house. In Jesus' time, it was the temple that was his father's house or God's house. And the last word here is stature. Stature has to do with, with your body, your, your posture, and how your body is built physically. And you know from being a child to being an adult that what happens to your body? Well, you, you grow, you get bigger, you increase in stature. So those are some of the, the words and phrases that we'll come across today as we hear from Luke chapter 2, the boy Jesus in the temple. So Jesus grew and became strong. He became wise. The favor of God was upon him. Jesus grew up in a little town called Nazareth. Each year, Joseph and Mary went to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. When Jesus was 12, he was able to go along too. When the feast was ended, Jesus stayed behind. His parents did not know it. At the end of a day's walk, Jesus' parents looked for him, but they did not find him. So Joseph and Mary went back to Jerusalem. 
after three days, they found Jesus. Jesus was in the temple with the teachers. He was listening and talking and asking questions. And those who heard Jesus talk were amazed. When his parents saw Jesus, they were surprised. His mother said, son, why have you done this? Your father and I have been sad. We searched all over the place for you. Have you ever been lost and your parents had to come and search and find you? Uh, I did that a couple times growing up, kind of walked away or wandered off on my own. And my parents were not too happy about it when they had to come find me. Jesus said, why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? Mary and Joseph did not understand. Then it was time to go back home. Jesus went with them to Nazareth. He obeyed Joseph and Mary. Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature. He grew in favor with God and man. There's a little picture there, the same face from Jesus on the last page, but there's a Bible verse. It says Isaiah 9, verse 6. And that is a promise from the Old Testament pointing to Jesus. The one we hear at Christmas time, to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And so there's an account for us of, of Jesus who came to be all those things for us as he was growing up. Even at 12 years old, he was about his father's business. He was in his father's house talking about God's word and maybe even thinking about uh, how he had come to fulfill that word, keep God's promises for us. And of course, that's what Christmas is about. And, and I know we're, we're about done with Christmas time now as it's just uh, past epiphany, but we're going to remember one last time that Jesus is the heart of Christmas and that he came down so that we can be God's children. So join me in that song, Jesus is the Heart of Christmas. We'll sing it through a couple times and uh, just give thanks for Jesus coming for us. Jesus is the heart of Christmas. He came down from heaven above so that we might be God's children filled with his great love. Jesus is the heart of Christmas. He came down from heaven above so that we might be God's children filled with his great love. Yeah. Jesus came down so that we can be God's children, so that we can receive God's love and, and have eternal life in Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and, and have a prayer today. You can fold your hands and bow your heads, close your eyes. I'll say some words and you can say them after me. Dear Jesus, as a boy, you love to go to the temple and hear God's word. As I grow, please help me to love God's word too. I want to learn more about you. Amen. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today, and the Lord Jesus be with you this week.